afuera Pero el día en que me muera Sé que tendrás Hello, this is Chef Mark Tafoya from Remarkable Palette Personal Chef Service in New York City. And today I'm here to show you how to make corn tortillas at home. I am a native of Albuquerque, New Mexico, which has such a rich, diverse cultural heritage. First, there were the Native American Pueblo Indians, and then the Spanish colonial settlers from which my ancestors came. And of course, we have such a diversity of people from Mexico and Latin America. And the foundation of all the cuisine in Latin America is corn. I'm going to show you today how to make the basic, humble, and magnificent corn tortilla. Okay, so to begin, we're going to prepare the masa, or the dough, for the corn tortillas. And we're going to start with maseca, which is a nixtamalized corn uh, flour product. Uh, you can use any brand. This one is available on Colonial. Uh, it's been prepared and processed in a way that makes the dough easier. Essentially, it's been soaked in an alkaline solution to remove the insoluble parts of the corn. So you want to start with that. Okay, so I've got two cups of maseca and one and a half cups of water. That translates to about 250 milligrams of the flour and uh, 350 milliliters of water. So I'm just gonna add that to it. I'm not gonna add all of it at once, but you wanna, you know, you're gonna get your hands in there and you're going to mix it up. Okay, it's gonna become a, like a wet sand at the beach. All right, and then you just little by little add the rest and mix it through. And you're gonna knead this and move it around in your bowl for about a total of two minutes until a really uh, smooth, even dough forms. And it smells delicious. There's a real earthiness to the corn flour that is, you know, such an important part of Latin American uh, culture is, you know, corn is used in so many, it's the foundation of our cuisine. Really work this dough until it becomes one smooth, even dough. At this point, I can take the bowl away and I can just work this dough itself. Okay, so my masa is now ready, and you can see it makes just a beautiful, it's it's soft, it's supple, it's got quite a bit of liquid in it, but it's not wet and it's also not dry. And what I wanna do now is to start to divide it into my pieces, and you can just do that very easily with a knife. So you're gonna just keep cutting it until you've got about 18 to 20 small pieces of dough, all right? that and a couple of my larger pieces there I'm going to cut in half so I've got my little pieces of dough and I'm going to form those all into balls okay so each piece I'm going to roll into a small like golf ball sized ball and you can see it rolls so easily the dough is very very supple you want to try to have them about the same size the the recipe on the back of the bag says you get 19 out of it which I think is kind of funny uh, 19 one ounce dough balls each for each two cup recipe. You can see some of my some of my pieces are a little bit bigger. What you can do is if that happens, just pinch some of that away, and then roll it again until you've got all of the all of them are even. And now this one's small, so I'm just going to add to it. It's very very easy to roll that into a soft little ball. Okay, four, eight, twelve. 16, oh, I made 21 pieces, but I've got 21 pretty much the same size balls of dough. Okay, so I've divided all of my masa into dough balls and I've got a, you wanna get a moist kitchen towel, just one that's it's been wet and then wrung out and that you're gonna keep them moist like that, okay? And we're gonna work with one at a time, all right? So we take one of our golf ball sized balls and we're gonna roll that, okay? But first we're gonna use our tortilla press. So this is a tortilla press you can get commercially made. It's made with cast iron, it's very heavy. Okay, there are wooden ones available too. Um, this is the basic thing. And then what we're gonna do, used to, they used to use banana leaves or corn leaves uh, back in the day, but we have plastic bags. So you can take a plastic bag and you can kind of cut 
through so that you've got two sides. I've got one that's already made here. Okay, and we're gonna use that to make it easy for us to, um, to press the dough. Okay, so you're gonna press that in and use your three middle fingers and just kind of press down very gently. Okay, you make a little disc and then put this down so it's a little bit loose and then just place this. You're not gonna press too hard, but you're gonna use the lever to press it down once and then you've got a flat disc. Then you're gonna flip it over, turn it around and press it just very, very gently a second time to, because not all tortilla presses are even. And then you've got this perfectly formed tortilla. You can see this is kind of small. This is how street tortillas are made in Mexico. They're fairly small. Okay, and it's very, very supple. It's nice, you know, it's, it's, this one would be kind of a medium thickness. And you, know, you don't want them too thin or too thick. Now you could make really thick ones for gorditas, but we're just doing simple tortillas de maíz right now. Okay, so once again, here we go. I've got one of my tortilla balls and I'm gonna press it there and just three fingers, gently place the plastic and then just press gently one time. You see there's a flat disc flip it over and turn it 90 degrees and then one more press and that's ready to put on the comal. So now I want to show you how to do it where you've got a larger ball. We're going to make a little bit larger tortilla. Okay, this could be a gordita. Okay, it may not be as it may not be super wide, but it's going to be a little bit fatter. Okay, you see there's just more dough. You see that got a little bit bigger. Turn it around. Press it just a little bit, and now we've got a larger size tortilla. All right, ready to go. You, know, you might be saying to yourself, I don't have one of these fancy tortilla presses. How do I make them? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, you still got your plastic here, and we're gonna take one of another one of the masa balls here, okay? Same thing, we're gonna roll it out. Gently press it together in your palms just a little bit. Close that over, and then you're just gonna use a rolling pin regular rolling pin but what you're gonna do is just gently rock it back and forth and turn it as you go until you've got yourself sort of a flat disc now with this method you're gonna have sort of um, your edges as you can see here are gonna be a little bit more rustic but that's okay and you know might not be perfectly round that's just fine but you see you still get a beautiful tortilla that you've made yourself. And look, if it rips like that, no problem. Just kind of press it back together. Okay, so I've got, this is a cast iron skillet. Usually in Mexico, they would use a comal, uh, which is just, a, again, a cast iron pan, but it's a large one made just for tortillas, okay? This is a regular cast iron skillet. It's dry, and I've got it heating over medium heat. You don't want it not too hot. Okay, and how you test it is you get a little water, and you flick it there, and if it, if it just evaporates immediately, then it's ready, okay? And I'm gonna use it in the center here. So I've got my tortilla that I've just pressed, and you just place it there. Okay, so you can see our tortilla, it's, you can see a little, maybe you can see on here, little wisps of steam coming off. The outside is drying just a little bit. Now, the, the Mexican ladies who make these do it by hand, but for now I'm gonna show you how to do it with a little spatula. You're just gonna lift it up and give it a flip, and you can see there's some slight blisters there, but it hasn't fully cooked. This is the, the ideal. You wanna let that happen for about 30 seconds on the first side, then flip it. Now this is where it's really, this second time is really where it's gonna cook. And you know, you, it's dry enough, you can kind of move it around now. Okay, we've been cooking it on that second side there for a little bit, and now I'm just gonna, just gonna give it a flip. Now this is where you wanna be careful because it could dry out too much, but uh, there's this expression in, in Spanish, it says, la tortilla se quiere levantar. It means it wants to lift up, it wants to puff up. So that's how you know you've got a successful tortilla. You can kind of help it along by kind of tapping it a little bit and you'll see in a minute it'll puff up. So when you start to get going, of course, you can use the real estate on your pan to do multiple tortillas at once. So here we go, that's been on the first side. I'm gonna flip it. See, sometimes it's easier with the hands and you see there's some tiny little blisters there. That's exactly right with a little color, not too much color though. So I'm gonna actually just do these by hand. There you go, perfect. You see there's a little bit of color there. This guy just threw on. It's been such a pleasure today showing you how to make corn tortillas. For more about me, you can go to my website, remarkablepalette.com, or find me on social media. 
on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, at Chef Mark. It's been such a pleasure. Have a great day.